DisclusWorkstations.com presents LTSP Direct to RDP. Before we begin, we're assuming that you're running Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Lynx. LTSP is up and running, and you can boot a thin client. Windows Server is at least 2003, and the LTSP thin clients and Windows Server are routable. If you have any questions, contact DisclusWorkstations.com, email support at DisclusWorkstations.com, call 888-359-5877. You may recognize this as a normal LTSP login screen. We're going to make changes in order to get this to boot to a Windows RDP server. To start, we want to open Terminal by going to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. In Terminal, we're going to sudo bash to access root. Once root, we're going to open var lib tftp boot ltsp i386 lts.conf. The lts.conf does not exist by default, so we're going to have to create it as a new file. The lts.conf is used to give one or many clients booting from the server commands during the startup. The file is not created by default or required by LTSP for normal operation of a thin client. If you're working with an LTSP installation with a customized environment, you may already have an LTS.conf in place. When booting an LTSP client to a Windows RDP server, we address two sections, the default section and a specific MAC address section. Any variable declarations underneath the default section apply to all client devices booting from the specific LTSP server. If you wish to make client-specific rules, you can do this by using the client's MAC address in place of the default section. The MAC address section is used the same as the default section, but the header contains the client's MAC address. Please note, any MAC address-specific entries will override the specifications in the default section. We begin by declaring the default section. In the default section, we assign lts.conf variables to every client device booting from our LTSP server. First, we declare the screen underscore 07 variable. This variable is used to tell the client device what to display upon boot. By default, the client devices boot to LDM, the LTSP Display Manager. When specifying our desktop, the client device boots into the our desktop client, which enables a login to the Windows Terminal Server. The second variable tells the our desktop client where the Windows Terminal Server can be found on the domain. If we wanted to send a single client device to a different Windows Terminal Server, we will need to separate these settings from the Windows Server that is specified in the default section. We accomplish this by copying the default section. Replace default with the MAC address of the client. If you're using a DisclosedWorkstations.com thin client, this can be found on the back side with all the connection ports. In this example, we send the client with MAC address 00:e3:4a:33:10 to the Windows Terminal Server 192.168.1.23, while all other clients on the network following instructions from the default section go to 192.168.1.53. You can indicate the server location with either the IP addresses as we've shown here, or by using the host name of the server. Remember, if your client is not able to route to the Windows server, you will not be able to our desktop to it either. Once you're finished, save and exit. Now you should be able to reboot your thin client and it will boot to a Windows RDP session. Good job, you're all done. If you have any further questions, contact DisclusWorkstations.com, email support at DisclusWorkstations.com, or you can call us at 888-359-5877. This has been a DisclusWorkstations.com production.